I'm Farmer Tyler. I'm here at the Gainesville Downtown Farmer's Market with Corky Gibbons of Wellborn Farms. He is the blueberry man. Today we're going to learn about how to prune a blueberry. What would you do as your first step? Where I normally start is I like to go from the inside of the plant out. What we're trying to do is open the plant up so there will be plenty of sunlight getting into the middle of the plant and not shading any of the new green growth that's trying to grow out for the upcoming season. And what we're going to do is go after what they call the candelabra, which are these big woody stems where there was uh, plants or um, fruit located. So what we want to do is take out this old lethargic candelabra. That will be our first cut. We've got some tendril growth on that, but by taking this out, what we're doing now is opening up the middle of this plant in order to uh, let the sun come in. Here's a very critical step. A lot of times people will not want to take out any more. They want to go right to the ends and try to cut off little tips. But if it were me, out in the field especially, I would want to take out one of these old canes and since this one's the oldest and probably the spindliest looking cane, we're going to cut that back. Now we've opened this up. We've got a nice open half, half oval shape here where all these new uh, branches can get in the sun. We've got also, especially I've opened it up the middle for this, uh, these two canes to grow. And then from there, you probably want to try to uh, tip everything. Well, what we're looking for is uh, green growth that's hardened up. Here's a, here's a good one here. So it's grown in a pot in the patio. You could probably leave this. But if you would imagine this with a cluster or two of fruit on it, if it were planted in the ground, flush to the ground, this would be touching the ground. So probably want to cut it back. Count at least two or three nodes out from the stem and cut this back right at a node. And then we've got other um, tips that we can cut. We've got another old candelabra here that we can cut. We've got others up here. There's another. The rule of thumb with me is never be afraid to cut back because you always get more out of the plant by stimulating new growth. From there, it's just a matter of giving it a haircut. You can come along and prove some of the tips. I would leave the tendril growth and the very new floppy growth alone. Let that grow out. Thank you, Corky, for that informative tutorial. Make sure you check out Corky Gibbons at the downtown farmer's market. He also goes to the other farmer's markets in Gainesville as well.